Welcome to the Critic Uculus. I'm the Monk, and today we are in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now, I figured that I would show you a much bigger and grander raid because a couple of days ago, a few days ago, I showed you the first one you're able to actually do in England. Well, this is Sudwella Monastery. It is a bigger city, uh, harder enemies, and there is a lot more to do in this battle. Like I said, I wanted to show off the combat. I wanted to show off the actual raid mechanics of this game. I wanted to do it a little bit of justice because um, I felt that maybe I didn't do it as well of justice in that last video. Um, so I figured bigger city, better prizes. And uh, I figured I might be able to show you <laughs> uh, some better mechanics while I struggle to climb up this uh, this little area. Now, I know that a lot of people say that the combat in this game is difficult. Um, sorry, not difficult. <laughs> Way too easy. Um, I just wanted to point out that you can make this game as easy or hard as you personally want to. For instance, the skill tree perk you don't actually have to use, and that is what gives you power. Nothing is stopping you going into the harder areas, you know, completely um, underpowered and actually giving it a go. Now, this isn't what's happening in this playthrough right now. You know, I've used my points. I'm in an area that I probably should be in. Um, but a little while up the river, there is another city, which I can sack if I want to, and it's completely out of my power level. And it's not out of the question for me to do it, but it is bloody hard. You know, it kind of, um, maybe not one hit kills you, but probably two hit kills you. It's not fun uh, if you mess up. But what I'm trying to say is that the combat doesn't have to be easy if you're if you are finding it that way, this game does have difficulty settings which you can change. And of course it does have a whole skill tree which you can ignore to use and just be a regular Viking. You know, using his hatchet and bow with no superpowers and no buffs whatsoever if you wanted to do that. But an interesting feature which I really like in this uh, raid is that you can blow things up. Now you can see that, that there's an area of effect there. I would prefer if the area effect wouldn't be in the game. You can probably turn it off. This game does have a lot of options, to be fair. Um, but it is a feature in this game that I really like. Also, this feature right now. Uh, one of my men is downed. I can revive him and help him get back up. It's another feature which I really like in this game. This game is full of little features which are quite cool that maybe you haven't necessarily seen too much in other Assassin's Creed games. Or maybe they've been there, but you know never all at the same time i also like the fact that you can light your arrow on a on a flame and you know set fire to thatch roofs and stuff like that it's a really nice feature um and one that i'm glad to see in in this game the raiding is a lot of fun to be honest with you oh didn't need to pick him up he picked himself up well done buddy well done but i also like the raids because uh, you know the layouts are never the same. In a lot of games, it's a lot of co copy and paste. And I'm not saying Assassin's Creed isn't copy and paste, but I do feel like the raids are are different. You know, the, the layouts aren't always exactly the same. The boxes aren't where they always are. And some raids are a lot bigger than other raids. And uh, I like the diversity in this game. I think that they've put in a lot of effort into Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And I, and I really do think it shows. I think I think... I think Odyssey was an absolute great game. I really enjoyed Odyssey. There were things I hated about it, like lack of choice or should I say uh, choice impact, you know, as in your choices actually having weight to the story. I felt like um, Odyssey didn't have any of that. You know, the, the options it presented you weren't really good options or they weren't options that actually mattered. Whereas in this game, you do get options, and the, the you know the, the things that you choose do matter, and for me, it sold it for me. You know, it, it's taken the best elements of Odyssey and improved upon it, and uh, yeah, I really like that. Anyway, back to the raid. So anyway, so we need to hit these monasteries. Uh, the more monasteries we hit, the more resources we have. The more resources we have, the more we're able to actually level up the settlement. And I'm one of these people that actually love having a settlement or a base to you know improve and to see the progression of you know my game. 
and uh, it's it's something that, that I was really excited to see in this game. And again, the raiding is something I was really excited to see, being a Viking and all that, you know, you want to be able to raid. Now, I'm not saying the raids aren't as good as they could have been, um, but they're definitely enjoyable, and they go hand to hand with the settlements as well. So, for me, it's, it's all good, all good and gravy. I do love my bow, though. I do think my bow is overpowered, but if you think about it, if you're shot in the chest with an arrow, how many more arrows do you think are going to be needed, you know, to put you down? You know, so you got to think of it like that too. Something may be overpowered, but an axe to the head, well, that's probably going to kill you, isn't it? So sometimes it's nice to have, you know, a bit of scent sometimes. Well, can we get it? Oh, we did get him. Lovely jubbly. I like how um, different enemies have different death scenes as well. Like, for instance, that, that knight was fighting, or that soldier was fighting with a sword. And so, you know, when I executed him, he had the, the death scene that you just saw with me putting the sword through his chest, which I've done to other, other soldiers as well, all holding a sword. But if he was holding a pike, for instance... Or if he was holding something else, he would have a slightly different death scene. Um, and I think that's a nice little touch as well. little diversity in this game, which is nice. You can actually turn... You don't actually have to use the Odin site at all, um, which is another good thing. You know, there's these things about this game that... I guess for hardcore gamers, you can say, well, you don't need it. Like the X-ray vision, you know, for seeing enemies. Absolutely agree with you. You don't need it. You shouldn't need it. Especially once you understand the game. Um, but it's there for the players that want it. You don't have to use it personally yourself. So I think, again, accessibility with this game is pretty good. And honestly, I love it. It's a good little game. But I do see there's something over here. And I need to figure out how to get to it. Now, once you get all of the uh, materials, you will know a raid's done because you, you know your men will signal that it is done. You've done it. You've you know you've completed the raid, and they start buggering off back to the ship. A big hurrah, and it will come up on your screen as well, saying "raid completed," uh, which is a really nice touch too. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you've got everything in the area there is to get. It just means you've got all of the materials for your settlement, which is what you know what you're actually raiding for but there's still some boxes to get and some gems to get and some coins that you can pick up and other things you can actually see on the map where these things would be um, and then you can make sure that you you finish it now you see that wall you can actually blow up that wall little arrow to and bada boom all done pretty sure that's those rocks exploded the wrong way but still Yeah, like I was saying, so after I get all these materials, it doesn't necessarily mean that I've got everything in this area. So you can pull up the map and make sure you do actually clear the area out, which is a nice little bit. But I believe this is the last piece that I needed in here. And then I will get a big screen message saying raid complete. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. If you found it entertaining, if you found me entertaining, or if you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss out on more content just like this. There will be more uh, Assassin's Creed content coming up. Um, let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video. And uh, maybe what you would like to see next as well. Anyway, I've been a monk and we've been to Chris Lucas. And guys, I will see you in the next video real soon. I'll see you later.